Hello everybody and welcome to this wonderful video demonstrating a brand new game, Taxi Life City Driving Simulator. I have been lucky enough to be sent a copy of this game. Thank you so much to the game developers for sending this to me. I cannot thank you enough for the opportunity uh, to share this with my audience. Um, I'll be honest with you, this has been on my wish list for quite some time. So, getting gifted a copy was a, a really nice surprise. And uh, very, very grateful. What was an even bigger surprise, guys? It's a good game. <laughs> it's actually a really, really, really good game. I played for three and a half hours straight on a live stream. I didn't go past the the loading screen um, off camera. So my first reactions are there on camera forever. And I am just so pleased. I am so pleased that finally we have a taxi game that is really good but not only that they have built an environment which is just so lifelike so if any of you can guess this is set in Barcelona um, which is in Spain if you didn't know beautiful city and I'm lucky enough to have been there multiple times um, I strongly, strongly recommend, if you're watching us now, hit the button on the top right or go to the video in my description to go watch my live video and I'll give my full in-depth thoughts of this game there. Um, but my top things that I like about this game so far are A. The map itself, how realistic it is to Barcelona, the the feel, the, the, from the trees moving to the trash on the floor through to graffiti through to the beauty of the modern to the old buildings but moreover the lighting they have nailed the lighting in this game it oozes Barcelona absolutely oozes Barcelona and I played through if you go to, again, go to the video where you see my live reactions. I play from the morning uh, all the way through the evening to the early hours. So you get to see during the day, you get to see twilight, sun setting and sun rising. And they've just nailed the way how it looks. Now... That's one thing. Next thing I'm really impressed with is the user interface. Let me just put the handbrake on. So we have a really, really nice, uh, simple to use, very simple to use map. Now I'm hoping this is just a starting point and that they are going to expand beyond um, because this city has a lot to offer, but also I'm kind of hoping, as I've alluded multiple times in, in the live video that I did, the live stream, that it's saying a city driving simulator. I'm hoping they, they're they talking about multiple cities in the future. That would be just incredible. But it's usability of just being able to click and add a waypoint, to click and select a, um, a fare. It's really good. And then you get perks and points for driving as well as the different statistics. So in my stream, you can see me going from no money with just the car through to hiring my first employee and buying my second car. So we've now activated the management platform of this game, which is the cars, the employees and the finances. So I've purchased as you can see on the left hand side, uh, Sedina, which I think is a looks a bit like a Toyota Yaris, to be honest with you. Um, and I have hired one guy so far, Eugenio. 
and Eugenio is going to be working in the Ravel, which is the tourist area, and he's going to be working from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. But you can employ multiple people. Um, in fact, I probably could, if thinking about it, employ another and put her at a different time. I wonder if I could do that. So let's now go. The other person I was going to employ was Irene. Now, Irene is really quite interesting because she's a workaholic, but her drawback is that she's sick. Um, Manuela, Ross, I'm sorry. You keep your car clean, but you're a really bad driver. And I can't have that. So let's look. Let's hire Irene. And let's let's go back to cars. Um, I was hoping... If I click on Irene, I thought I just hired her. Yeah, I have. Okay. Fire, close. No, I don't want to close. Now, can I add you to the car? I can. This is interesting. So, I can attach her to the same car. Um, my Eugenio is working from... Nine till was it nine until two, wasn't it? So if I put her on at three, that could be quite interesting. So let's look at the car now. Okay, I haven't selected her district. I might keep her in the same district, you know. And as we expand, I'll keep the car rotating through the days. So her shift time's nine hours. So I've assigned that. Let's go back now. Did that not work? To three. Why is that changed for you to nine? Not all drivers are assigned. Is that not going to let me do that? Are you saying that I can only use the car per person? one car per person because that's a bit of a bummer because now I've just hired you see my assumption was I'd be able to pass that car over what if I try oh so hang on let's go back so back let's just try this again so I'll have you working from 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Right. Now let's go car. Let's now go same area but 6 p.m. No. It knocks her out. Knocks him off of the car. So they have to have a car each. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I better hustle to be able to afford another car. So in the, my next car, that car cost five grand, I think. I think it was five. Can I get to you quickly? Yeah, let's go for you. Okay, right, let's do this, guys. Let's go earn some money. Oh, you let me go first. Thank you. Come on. I'm still getting used to this looking sensitivity i might need to adjust that whoa
someone that has put their honker on and it's not letting go. There's a couple of cars which their front wheels just spin and they don't move, but it's it's very minor for the first time that the game game day is out. I've also oh, what are you doing? Move. There we go. So the management, I think, is going to be an exciting development in the game. Hi there. The other thing is the maintenance of the vehicles. And the interaction with the passengers. And you will see this very soon with me talking to the customers. Sometimes they come up and they speak to you. They start talking and you get to respond to them, which is really, really nice. That's a really nice effect. Am I moving or is the car in front moving? That was weird. I can hear there's some damage to my car. So I might, on the steering, every time I steer, there's a squeak. So I'm going to have to pop to a garage at some point because that is going to annoy me. Um, some other good things about the game. The car... Oh, hi. You're sitting in the front. The GPS is fantastic. You can also do things like uh, open your front window. Have that open. Now, it does have AC on and off. But I can't see anywhere about the temperature. So I don't know if that's something which... I'm missing or I'm not seeing because how do I I mean it looks hot let's face it it looks hot but I'm not seeing anything about um, comfort levels another thing which is pretty cool there's an accident here can you see so that's a random event but you can also see it's popped up on the sat nav if you can see that So that's pretty cool. So it does show you. The only thing is, I'm not sure if it was in my way, whether it would divert me or not. Not 100% sure about that. You can do updates to the vehicle. At the moment, from what I can see, there aren't that many different types of vehicles. I'm sure they would expand on that. Um, but the thing that I love the most is how realistic this is to real life. I think they have done an absolute cracking job. And they've got a lot to be proud of here. That's for sure. A lot to be proud of. So we're just going to do a, a, a few drive arounds. try and earn a little bit more money so we can get another car for Irene to drive. Now her downfall being, uh, and again, I like the fact that there's pros and cons for, for, for the employees because that's realistic to life and I'm just trying to think of a game, a simulator game where you hire people where they have human traits which are good and bad that is true to life the only issue I have at the moment is that uh, I can't get my steering wheel to work with the game it my steering wheel isn't on the compatible compatible list I do have a thrust master but it's not on the one that they know a hundred percent works with the game so I'm sure over the coming days there's going to be some updates that will change this. But even driving through here, look at the shadowing. The light streaming through the car. There's little details of the trees and the shadows on that dashboard. 
It's really good. It is really good. And in real life, actually, I need to move over. In real life, Barcelona is this crazy. Like, people dart around all over the place. There's always accidents. The roads are always pretty tight. There's always parked cars everywhere, including bikes everywhere. The only thing I'm not seeing is, like, scooters on the road. And in real life, the scooters are crazy. Actually, I'm gonna scoot this way. There we go. You kind of have to hustle to make this. Whoa! Come on! What are you playing at? Come on! Oh, okay. It's not your fault. The traffic's all the way over there. Oh, I see. I see. I'm just being impatient. But what I will do is, after this, I'll go straight to a garage and we'll get the squeaking noise fixed. When that guy snipered us, he also took out our... Some... There was something to do with that. He screwed something in the our steering. Come on. Whilst we're waiting, though, look at the detail, even on the floor. Oh no, someone had an accident. Look at the traffic behind. Let's try and have a look. I mean, this traffic is bad. I'm just going to turn my winker off so it's not too noisy. So we have four, three people in the car. Now, the only complaint I have about the game is there wasn't a female driver option. There wasn't a female driver option. So, look at this traffic, guys! So what is... It's 8.30 in the morning. It would be this busy. But the car in front should be leaving now. There. Yeah, go. This is... This is realistic. This is what it would be like. It would be busy at this time of day. And in the early hours of the morning... Um, when I was playing, there were barely anybody on the road, so they really do play to play to that. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Here we go. It was such a pleasure riding with you. Thank you. Pleasure riding with you too. That was a good tip, actually, as well. Right. Have I... So no, I haven't picked someone else yet. I need to get my car fixed. Um, let's... Oh, I don't want to go all that way. Seriously, I've got... This is one thing you'll learn about Barcelona. To go anywhere, you've got to go a very, very long way. And that's probably why they've picked this city. Because I bet it would take me less time to get over there. So let's cancel waypoints. Yeah, it'd be easier to go there, even though geographically that garage is closer. So we're going to head out now. Oh, can you open that as well? Can you open that? No. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to interior light on, interior light off. Nice. 
was hoping you could open that, but you can't. Okay, right. Um... Oh, is that reverse? Oh, my word. I didn't realise that was available. Reverse camera? How did I get that up again? So that was... Oh, my word. This is insane. I am... Yes, people. Yes. How did I not know? How did I... See, this is the thing. you got to press buttons. Yeah, I really need to fix this car. And I'm just going to put my foot down so you can see how nippy this little thing is. Actually, I'm going to nip this side. Because we're going to want to head that way. Car accident. Oh my gosh, come on. Right, I'm just going to head round so we can... We can get somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they've just had an accident as well. I'm just driving like a lunatic at the moment because I want to get to get to the garage to fix this and then we can do some actual taxi work. Whoa! So, um, there's gas stations car washes um, and of course you have to fix the car there are some customizations that you can make to the vehicles it looks like some of them are also electric which is very cool I tell you what there are a few too many accidents I think I wonder if that's something they're going to fix I know it's red. I'm just gonna go. Whoa. And yeah, the, the fact that Barcelona has lots of one way street has definitely made this game incredibly interesting choice for the first city. I say first city with a lot of hope that they're going to introduce other cities. I don't know that for sure. Come on. There is no reason for you not to be going right now. Or is there? No, there isn't. So there's a couple of little niggly bugs here. I'm going to go up on the curb. You cannot hit pedestrians, otherwise you get fined. I'm just hustling to get round this. So there are garages in lots of different locations. I'm going to fuel up here. But you can see I had quite a few issues there with the car. But it didn't cost a massive amount. Let's give the vehicle a nice clean. Excellent. Right, let's head back out. So. Wrong one. We are here. These guys, I can't pick up yet because they need a much bigger um, 
boot or trunk, depending on where you are in the world. I am going to pick this dude up. He's nice and close by. Alright, I'm going to drive normally now. The bird sounds are phenomenal. Very impressed. Look at the trees moving as well. I'll make sure to record lots of different episodes at different times of day. So that you can experience like the beauty of what they've achieved here. Hazard lights. Did you crash or why did you have hazard lights on? Not really sure about that. That car's got some damage. But that is what you would see. You would see loads of cars with bumps and scrapes, especially in cities like this. Italy mainly, my goodness. If you don't have a bump or a scrape on your vehicle in Italy, then it must be bubble wrapped or just been bought or just fixed. One of those. Right, I'm gonna he head around this traffic. Okay, here is our new client. Hey there. Hopefully he's nice. <laughs> Some of them are rude. Some of them are rude, which is like in real life, people are rude, aren't they? Again, we're having this issue of the cars not going. And funny enough, I didn't have that issue the first time I played. I've turned it off since, and there was an update. So I don't know whether there's a couple of tweaks still going. Look at this, guys. Isn't it beautiful? What a beautiful, beautiful environment. And I just realised um, if we go to management, Irene... Oh no, I've got her working in the evening, haven't I? I was going to have my other guy working in the morning, then her in the evening. But it didn't work out that way. What's going on? Go, 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 go. Why is this car keep stop stopping and starting? The funny thing is, the first time I looked at this game, I wasn't having these issues. Um... Yeah, that's all fine. Just wondering if there's something... See, I even have these. If I set these to high, what happens then? Oh yeah, the game looks even better. Oh gosh, the game does look better. Oh, the that car is doing my head in.
Right, let's get this guy to his destination. Thanks for the ride. Pleasure, sir. Oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. Sorry, everybody. That skipped through way too quickly. Um, so we're there. Let's have a look. Oh, I tell you what. That'd be a cool drive. Let's go in there. Let's, uh, let's go in cab to our reverse. Oh, that's cool. First camera on. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. Love this. I love it so much, guys. I think they've got so there's so much going for this game. I just hope that they continue to develop it. I'm also just going to very quickly game settings. Um, apologies. System settings. Audio. I'm going to turn the master volume up a little bit. So I can't always hear what's going on. But now I've turned the graphics up a bit as well. The colours are even more vibrant. Which is insane. Do I have this window down or up? Oh, no, that's not working all of a sudden. Oh, there's a police car. Now I'm also wondering, again, sorry everybody, system settings. Also wondering if there's an ultra high version. Let's try Epic. Oh, wow. Yes. So I had that all set to normal. But look at this. Thankfully, I have a machine that can cope with this. So I can share this beauty with you. Now nothing is loading in. It just looks fantastic. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Right, 
think let's pick our guy up. Hi there. Oh, it's a lady. Of course it is. I already knew that. Wow, look at this. It's so beautiful. I can't believe that I had it on normal that entire time. Even though it's only three and a half hours of gameplay, but my gosh, does it make a difference? Look at the trees. The thing that does freak me out a little bit is you it looks like you're getting one passenger and then all of a sudden there's someone else next to you. Bit creepy. There's the zoo. I knew the zoo was around here somewhere. Yeah, that's the zoo. Oh, so they have specked this so beautifully. I'm going to keep banging on about this. I know I am. And the traffic is significantly more... in the day than it is at night. That is very good. They've just had an accident. I'm gonna have to go around them. Wow. Even the shimmering on the cars as the light mm -hmm. hits them. Okay, lights are not working up here, so we have to be a bit more careful. In other words, just drive and hope for the best. guy doesn't know he wa where he wants to be either. We're all just figuring it out. Oof, that is much faster. Oh, come on. The billboards advertising things as well. Honestly, hats off, guys. And because I have been here, mm, I would say I've been to Barcelona, it's either five or six times. I really can tell you how true to life this is. And on my live stream I was saying the zoo's around so, here somewhere. how are you enjoying driving around Barcelona? Well, let's reply. Oh, I'm loving it. There's just so much to see in this city. What makes driving here so special for you? Uh, I'm gonna go people. Definitely the people. I love learning about their experiences in this city. What's your favorite part of the city to drive in? Uh, in real life, it is, I love the old town. So Definitely old town. the old town. There's so much history and character there. Oh, I love it too. So, if I was to show you old town on the map, um, so obviously this is the ocean. Now this is more of a harbour area, but up here is the beach. The beach side. 
and Old Town is kind of in here, this section, which is where we are now. Um, then you've got the main street, which is really easy to identify by Columbus Monument, and all the way up is Rambler. All the way up to the top, and you get to... Um, I, I always... It's kind of like this, it says uh, modernist street lamp, but it, it's, it's a really nice bit of architecture. And as it says here, 1929, um, just really, really nice. And you can tell the Rambler very easily. We're going to be driving on it in a minute, so I will show it to you. Um, and then, of course, Gaudi's main... Um, architecture is up here but that is part of the map which isn't open to us. I don't know if that's yet or now or ever I don't have the answer to that just want to have a look at the control sorry apologies the control for oopsie oopsie i don't want to muck around with that i do actually have a 5k screen but i don't want to muck around with that because that will mess up my recording um what is the control for cruise control lb and left okay Okay, let's try that. Yeah, it is holding actually. So this is La Rambla. It's very identifiable by this strip in the middle of like restaurants and cafes, little places you can pick up drinks. You can get down to the metro from there. Little newsstands. It's lovely. Sounds like someone's got a pump, a permanent honk on. Oh, that's a no entry. Oh, I see. Here's my road. I have to turn your wheel on full lock.
can correct the parking. Oh, a bit too far forward. There See we go. You. Okay, that wasn't my best driving, but I did get a five star and a thirty-eight dollar oh euro tip. It's not bad at all, is it? That is not bad at all. Okay, I'm looking at the time. I think we have time to do one more. That's a long route to get to get that person and that one. What about this one? That didn't even put anything on my sat nav, did it? Beautiful. Right, where is the destination point? It's not even... It's not coming up with it, which is really odd. Is it showing it now? Oh, there we go. Good. Oopsie. Scrapped into a cart. Thankfully, this is a nice short drive, so we'll finish this off and then finish the episode so that you can get back to your day. Another day at work, am I right? Yes, I love it. Well, as they say, do what you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. And what do you do? I work with people. Sounds like a very demanding job. It is, but I enjoy it. Wow, look at that graffiti. That is stunning. Gotta collect that, that's for sure.
So let me know what you think of this game in the chat. I'd love to hear your opinions, guys. Do let me know. Is that red for us or? Do you know what? I don't know. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I appreciate you so much. Make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe so that you can see more videos like this on Taxi Simulator. Thank you so, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.